So today is a very exciting day. It is my graduation today. It's my sister. <laughs> I actually had to delay it from a summer graduation to a winter graduation because I had the come off games that clashed. Yeah, and I didn't want to just cut to my certificate and not have a proper graduation. I wanted a proper celebratory send off for my degree. So yeah, happy days, graduation day. And one exciting thing, slight, slightly nerve wracking, but also very exciting is I am giving a speech at my graduation on stage. I got an email about a couple months ago to basically ask if I wanted to do that. And I was like, absolutely. Like it was kind of more like from, as a Commonwealth game medalist, sports scholar, getting your degree as well at the, at the University of Nottingham. So I was like, yes. So I got my speech and everything. Very exciting. Anyway, first off, breakfast. So this is my dress. It's really pretty. And then on the back is like lace up type thing. It's really lovely. The only problem is that it's sleeveless and it's winter. And it's literally Baltic outside. So I'm gonna have to probably wear like a little cardigan or something. Which is fine. It's fine. Actually, I'm not nervous yet about my speech. It has to be five to 10 minutes long. Mine works out to be around six minutes. The only thing I'm worried is about like, you know, if you're a little bit nervous, you kind of probably talk a little bit faster. So I need to try and remember to like, make sure I'm talking slow. And I feel like you always think you're talking slower than you are when you're having to like consciously talk slow so people can hear you and understand you. But actually, when you're giving a speech, you're probably talking at like the right pace. I remember I had a uh, oral exam and was like a debate presentation type thing. And I remember I'd, I'd practice with my dad, give my presentation. I'd go upstairs in my room and teams call my dad from down, who's downstairs and give my speech to him. And he'd always say, you need to slow down. So I ended up getting 85 in that, 85% in that exam, so thanks, Dad. Oh! I just got him, I didn't want to interrupt. You scared me. <laughs> so this is the final look. Got my baby hair, it's ridiculous. Yes. Opted for these cute earrings. Okay, we are in the car, en route. I am currently getting my nails done by Anna. You're probably thinking, why am I not sat in the back with her? But we felt bad because lockdown was in VR. Yeah, Platten. Zoology. But it now has to be great pleasure to welcome Amy Platten, judo bronze medalist at the Birmingham 2022 Commonwealth Games, 
and she has just walked across the stage as a graduate in the School of Life Sciences. Amy. Firstly, I just want to say it is an absolute honour to be standing here today and talking at this graduation ceremony. It feels really strange being on the stage. And I truly would not be where I am today without my dad, so thank you. And I won't be looking at him right now because he will no doubt be crying. <laughs> and I don't want to cry on stage. My tutor, Dr. Maria Toledo Rodriguez, for my first day, guided me through the past three years. And to Dr. Gareth Hathaway, my supervisor for my dissertation, who I can only thank for his utmost support and understanding. It was an absolute honour to work with both of you. The team within judo had no idea what I was spending hours studying. <coughs> and the people around me at university had no idea how just before this lecture, I'd just been thrown on my head, sweated two litres, and raced here to get in time. It was a privilege that I could do two things I genuinely enjoyed and was passionate about. I love the challenge, the discipline it requires, and of course, the reward. I thought I would end with a little quote that my dad regularly recites to me. If it was easy, everyone would do it. Thank you for listening. We're <laughs> 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 oh, I got So I've just seen my tutor cry, which is the best person ever. I can literally cry now. Very emotional. <laughs> Wait, cut. This. Oh, not quite as good as your hair. And then the beautiful. This is me with the director of sport. And then the beautiful family. Don't cry, I mean, don't cry. I know, literally. <laughs> Managed to not cry on stage. Oh, that's good. That's just good. Yeah, I know. Oh, can I see them? Yeah. How do you feel? Did you alright? It's emotional. Yeah. Oh, mine was. I'm not so emotional. <laughs> <laughs> I'm crying behind the camera. Did you see? I need to stop crying because it's actually getting silly now. Okay. Right, guys, I'm look. an emotional girl. You know this now. Um, okay, I feel good now. No, I'm, Guess I'm what, though? Incredible. You got a tear out of Lachlan. <laughs> did I actually get a tear out of you? Yeah. Call it did actually. I'm feeling the drink. Oh, I'm so happy. Maybe it's just because. Incredible there. At, like, actually, it's one of my favourite days. Which bit? <laughs> no. no. It's nice and warm Can you get a picture of it? I want to Chicken, where's the macronutrients? Where the mamas? Ooh, what have you got there? Oreo brownie. Oh, what did you go for? <laughs> what did you go for? Okay. Just wrapping a present for Italia. I think we're just gonna chill now, watch a film or something, and then call it a day. I think we're all knackered. Look at these two. <laughs> Absolutely knackered. Yeah, I just had a, we had an amazing day today. Genuinely, like, I just felt really special because I think everyone was just like really supportive. And then when I gave my speech, everyone came up to me after and were like, that was an amazing speech. And like, I think it's just nice to genuinely be celebrated and like people to actually be happy for your achievement. And yeah, although it's a little bit of a different video, I feel like it's still important to show like my other side of life. And I think that 
obviously I didn't film anything when I was a student but I genuinely had no time so yeah you catch the end bit the good bit of when I've graduated so hope you enjoyed and I shall see you soon like comment and subscribe and see you next time goodbye